All right, guys, we're going to try something a little bit different here. We've got, we're not doing the laptop. We're not doing the old webcam. We're going the old, old webcam, which does the zooming in and out thing. I feel like that might be the best option. I'm going to try not to move very much. That's that's what we're going to do. Also, I have to start remembering to look up there. That's where you are. Um, anyways, this mock draft, just so you know, is very different than what I've done in the past. This is not my mock draft. It's your mock draft. You made these picks. Um, so, a couple things. Number one... Um, very excited. I love the interactive nature of it. Number two, if you want to get involved in it, I'm going to be doing this again very soon. You have to subscribe to the channel because what I'm going to do is I'm going to put polls up and you can see that when you go on YouTube, you'll see the polls pop up and you get to vote, but I don't think you're going to see it unless you're subscribed to the channel. So make sure you hit the subscribe button so you can get in and make the better picks. I do have a request and I'm sure a lot of you aren't going to listen anyways, but it would mean a lot if you would consider instead of putting thumbs down for the video if you don't like the pick because it's not my pick if you could do a thumbs up for doing the video and then if you don't like the pick put in the comments why you don't like the pick because I probably agree with you and I'd rather not have the video get hurt uh, because of other people's bad picks but a big part of the reason I like it not just because it's interactive but it kind of gives you an idea a lot of the negative comments are our team would never pick that guy right you see what happens when fans get to make their own picks and say, well, we only want this position. I only want that. I don't care that there's a really good value here. You got some guys that are sliding way farther than they ever should. And so it just kind of shows kind of why you know, the Zoom's getting all messed up already. Why I make the picks that I pick, even though you don't necessarily like it. It kind of just has to be that way. Somebody has to make that pick. It has to happen. So um, anyways, a lot of really good picks, a lot of really garbage picks. But I had a lot of fun doing it, and I uh, look forward to doing it again very, very soon. So again, hit that sub sub subscribe button. Let's get started. So full disclosure, I did not do a poll for the first pick uh, for two reasons. Number one, it's a no-brainer. Um, that is the most obvious reason. Number two, I didn't think to start doing the poll until after I did the first pick. But I figured nah, it, it's going to be this anyway. So with the first overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select... Trevor Lawrence, quarterback, Clemson. Again, it's boring, but I don't think anyone's going to complain about it. I don't really have any other comments. We've talked about Trevor. We, we know what people think about him. If you have any other thoughts, comments, whatever, drop it in the comments section. But let's, uh, let's not waste any time and let's move on. With the second overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Justin Fields, quarterback, Ohio State. So, as I've said, there's a lot of controversy right here, and technically you could say there's controversy at one, right, because the Jaguars got the Ohio State coach, so there may be, it's going to be Trevor Lawrence. 37% of you picked Justin Fields. I was surprised, because it wasn't very long ago, as in like days ago, hours ago, that I was told Justin Fields is garbage, and he's going to fall out of the draft, and whatever. Um... But again, 37%, 26% of you said we should draft Penny Sewell. 19% uh, said we should take Zach Wilson. 17% want to do a trade back. I got to think in the future mocks uh, how to do trades. I don't think it's going to be super possible, so we'll probably just not do that. But I was just curious how it would break down. Right? I don't, I don't think we could have done a trade anyways, even if you had selected that. But I was just curious the breakdown. And so far, for Jets fans, 419 votes, not a small amount. 37% again want Justin Fields. So... That's what we're going to do, and I don't necessarily disagree. I do think he's a good quarterback. Um, I think that, you know, he had a bad game, and everybody kind of jumped on him. He's not that good, and, you know, we should take uh, Zach Wilson, which, again, I don't disagree with that either. But if you draft Justin Fields, I think he's going to be a good quarterback, I, I guess is all I'm really trying to say. So as of right now, I was a little surprised to see, but that's where Jets fans stand on that pick. With the third overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, Miami Dolphins fans select Penny Sewell, offensive tackle, Oregon. So this was kind of what I was thinking that needed to be done. Um, there was a little bit of pushback on it, but not a ton. Um, only 92 votes. Not a lot of people voting on the Miami Dolphins, apparently. But 54% wanted Penny Sewell. 34% wanted Devonta Smith. Um, but I, I really think that Devonta Smith thing is... is sort of recency bias, right? Whenever something crazy happens, everybody freaks out. The guy's had... I mean, listen, he's he's great. Now, I'm not trying to say he's not great, but it's just one of those things where one thing happens and then everything has to change, and he needs to be going... I'm hearing number two to the Jets, and it's like, guys, freaking calm down, all right? So I, I, I am happy to see that 54% said Panay Sewell. Um, 
I don't think Devontae Smith would be the best option. Not that he's a bad option, but you can get a wide receiver with your second pick. Take Penny Sewell here. Um, Jamar Chase also got 10% of the pick. 2% said other. We might as well look at it. I said you need to comment and tell me what you want. Um, in the comments section, we got Run DMC said trade with my Panthers for pick eight next year's first and a second, and we take Fields Wilson. So there you go. You got Panthers fans who are trying to help you out with these picks. Um, Zach Jason says Parsons or trade back. And then Eric Selby says trade back. So a lot of trade back. I might throw that on the next mock just to see if that gets at least 50%. And if so, you know, again, I don't know if I can actually make that work or not, but it would be curious to see because it sounds like that is a popular option. Again, I don't really agree. I think you take Panay Sewell here. With the fourth overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Atlanta Falcons select Zach Wilson, quarterback, BYU. I've been saying in the last several mocks how I'm kind of surprised, and this is why I love doing this because you can see the proportions. I'm surprised just based on the comment section how badly Falcons fans want a quarterback. And I was surprised to see 106 votes. Um, 68% wanted a quarterback. I didn't even put a name next to it. I just said position. 68% want a quarterback. 16% want Micah Parsons. 8% uh, said we should draft an edge rusher. 6% um, want cornerback. And then 3% said other, two of which left comments. Let's see what the comments say here. Trade Matt Ryan and a number four overall pick, third plus third round pick for Deshaun Watson. Maybe. I'm not going to put that in the poll, but all right. Um, and then Michael says draft a quarterback or trade back. So trade back is kind of the common theme with the comment section. But, I mean, I, again, as far as the mocks going forward, I, I at least know where the fan base is at. I don't know what the Falcons are going to do. I don't know if they want to draft a quarterback or not, but I know if you don't draft a quarterback, Falcons fans are going to be very, very upset. So, again, it's just kind of cool to know where fans are at, but also the proportion of it. That's a massive amount of the fan base that wants a quarterback. With the fifth overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Christian Derrissaw, offensive tackle, Virginia Tech. So this is kind of what I was talking about with fans kind of giving me crap in the comments section for drafting a position that isn't as important. I didn't expect it to be 48%. I, what I listed it in the poll was draft offensive line, who cares about value? 48% out of the 95 people that voted, Bengals fans presumably, said draft an offensive lineman. I don't care what the value is. Christian Derrissaw is like my 15th overall line, uh, offensive lineman. Now, granted, if maybe I gave a little more context, we would have said something differently and, and whatever the case may be. But this is kind of the problem generally with the comment section of fans overall is there's not a lot of real in-depth thought taking place for some people, sometimes, whatever. And again, I'm sure a lot of these people, if you would have said, you know, we should trade back or whatever, but we're not doing a trade back. We're at five. Should we take a mid-round offensive lineman or take one of these other possible things? And by the way, I, I didn't even see this. I put trade back as an option here. Only 24% said trade back. 48% said, nope, sit here and take an offensive lineman. I just don't agree. I think that's the wrong thing to do. There were several comments in the comment section later saying that's stupid. You absolutely don't do that. You take value, whatever. Um, again, I gave you the option. Trade back, only 24%. 17% said we take uh, wide receiver, either uh, Devontae or Chase. 8% wanted uh, Parsons. 2% were in the comment section. We'll jump in here real quick. i got to do a better job of having this ready to go beforehand. Um, Daniel LaFollette says offensive line, offensive line, offensive line, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Again, I agree that's the most important thing. At the very least, let's trade back. And maybe I should have put that in there, trade back and then take offensive line. I, I, I'll i try to do better with the actual options available, but just in general, you don't just take the position of need just because, and half of the people said that. Um, Lil Fish says, <laughs> Lil Fish, all right, trade with the Dolphins and ensure Panay Sewell. That's not going to happen. The problem is, I shouldn't say that. Maybe the Dolphins want to move, but again, the biggest issue is in order to move up, the team has to want to move back. I don't think they're going to move back, but if, if they're ready to do it, 100,000%. If you can convince me the Miami Dolphins are better off moving back, 100 billion percent, the Bengals need to give anything and everything they can to make sure they move up and get Penny Sewell. That's the best case scenario. I just think the Dolphins would be stupid to do it, especially if you're only moving back two spots. What do you? What, what's different? Not much. So, anyways, Derisaw to the Bengals. With the sixth overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Jamar Chase, wide receiver, LSU. Remember, don't hit thumbs down if you don't like this pick. You all made the pick. 
Eagles fans made the pick. Get mad at them. And the only reason I say that is because I, I feel like the hype right now over Devontae Smith um, is going to drive a lot of people to say that that's stupid. We should have taken Devontae Smith. I honestly respect this. I think most of the big boards out there still have uh, Jamar Chase as the top wide receiver. So... Um, I'll give you guys kudos for not just jumping on that bandwagon. Again, there's nothing wrong with believing Devontae's a better wide receiver. He may be, but I just I like to see that it's not just everybody buying into the, the immediate hype. As far as the breakdown, almost 40%, 39% of the 111 voters said they wanted Jamar Chase. Devontae got 30%. Uh, Parsons got 20 New quarterback got 10%. 2% said other. The only comment... Um, and I had it up, and then I just got rid of it because I'm a big, dumb, stupid person. I'm going to keep rattling off horrible things until it pulls up. Zero chance Wentz stays in Philly. Dash Ernie Schefter says trade down is the number one priority. There's your number one thing. So, again, trades are an option here. I'll try to put that. They only give you five options, and I want to have one that says other or comment. Maybe instead of other comment, I'll just put trade. I don't know. We'll see what happens. But we're going with Jamar Chase to the Eagles at six. With the seventh overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Detroit Lions select Devontae Smith, wide receiver, Alabama. I have a feeling Eagles fans and Lions fans are going to be kind of mad. Maybe. Because Eagles fans are mad because they should have had Devontae Smith. And a lot of Lions fans, from my experience in the comment section or whatever, um, don't like the notion that we need more offense. But again, this is a fantastic piece. You're not going to regret this pick one way or another. I know you need defensive help. I know you need a pass rusher and all that stuff. But whatever, 40% said we should take a wide receiver, whoever happens to be available. I did do several in advance. I did this one because I knew at least one of the wide receivers would be here. So 40% wanted a wide receiver. 21% said Micah Parsons. 25% actually said we need to draft a quarterback here. That was the next highest. 10% um, wanted an edge. 3% wanted a cornerback. Uh, the only <laughs> comment comes from Lions suck, says Stafford getting traded. So take that for what it's worth obviously not well i shouldn't say i shouldn't say obviously not a lions fan that may very well be a lions fan lions suck i feel like that's several lions fans probably have that tattooed on their face but um yeah we're going with Devonte smith and again you're gonna love this pick fantastic asset with him and kenny galladay there you probably you're gonna hang on to stafford for at least a little bit longer i don't know what we're doing with the defense but i i'm not gonna be looking forward to the packers playing that team i can say, tell you that much with the eighth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Carolina Panthers select Trey Lance, quarterback, NDSU. And I, I love this. By the way, I tagged some of the other channels, some really, really good people that you should check out. For example, Keep Pounding TV. We got Big Cat for the Panthers, Dosa Dion for the Lions. I forgot to do that until later on, but I'm a part of a group called Fan to Fan Network. Some really good uh, guys in there that produce some great content. So if you're a fan of these guys, you probably already know. Lions fans know Dose, and uh, I'm sure uh, – Panthers fans know about Big Cat, but if you don't, be sure to check them out. But I respect this pick. 52% said we should take Lance. 16% um, said quarterback no matter what. So if Lance isn't there, we go for Trask or, or Mack or, or whoever. 20% um, said Micah Parsons. 3% want a cornerback. 9% said Pitts, but zero comments. Basically, we want a quarterback, no comment, moving right along. I, I love it. I respect it. Again, this is one that I think is just kind of etched in ink obviously it's not unanimous and again i love the breakdown but um panthers fans want a quarterback and they seem to be content with pretty much anybody um it'll be maybe i'll do that kind of in the future but again 60 percent said quarterback no matter what if lance isn't available i'll see kind of what the breakdown is and how that works but um yeah again i mean this is this is just it's kind of like the falcons just i, I just shut up and give me a quarterback that's it so done quarterback with the Ninth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Mac Jones, quarterback, Alabama. Now, this is this is kind of an ugly one for two reasons. Number one, the last time I had the Broncos take a quarterback, everybody lost their minds. To make matters even worse, when this ended, 38%, the majority, wanted Patrick Sertan. So, um, look, I, I have to kind of cut it off at some point, and it got to a certain point where Mac Jones was well in the lead. For whatever reason, a bunch of people came on. We got 97 total votes and just blasted they wanted Patrick Sertan. So, again, at some point I got to cut it off and, and just make a pick and move on. But 
The official vote was Patrick Sertan, but unfortunately Mac Jones was in the lead. It's still the second highest, which surprised me. I didn't think anybody would vote for a quarterback. Um, again, last time I had a quarterback go to the Broncos because I thought it would help, and I thought you guys would appreciate it. Holy cow, are you guys mad at me? And I said I wouldn't do that again, and again, I didn't. I didn't pick him. Y'all picked him. So... Again, make sure you subscribe so that next time we do this, you don't have the Mac Jones, we need a quarterback crew, kind of take the lead. You guys kind of jump out there, you get Patrick Sertan. Um, but for this time, you're going to get Mac. And I don't really disagree. I mean, I, I know you like your guy, but I, I just, you've put so much into that offense. And I know we got a lot of things to work on, and who knows what's going on with Von Miller. But I really, I still feel like you put a really good quarterback in the middle of that, and I don't think it's Drew Locke. It's going to be a good football team. I know you don't like that comment, but that's just kind of how I feel about the Broncos. So you're getting one. Sorry. With the, I'm always on the wrong screen, 10th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Dallas Cowboys select. Patrick Sertan, cornerback, Alabama. Again, Broncos fans, I'm sorry. I'm a little surprised by this, to be honest. And maybe it's just because I came a little bit too hot at, at your boy Diggs, um, who is a good football player. I've, I've backtracked on that several times. I'm sorry I, I went down that road. He's showing promise. He's getting better. He's going to be a great corner, all that stuff. But there was so much anger toward me when I took a cornerback last time. Um, I didn't expect this, but, man, it's it's 63% said cornerback. Don't even care which one. Only 13% for Micah Parsons, 13% for Kyle Pitts, 5% wanted edge, 5% said other. Um, no question. So, I'm, I'm, again, I agree. I'm, I'm glad with that comment. By the way, Law Nation is the channel you should be checking out for the Dallas Cowboys. Again, if you don't already, he's got a massive channel. I'm sure you know about Law, but uh, great channel there. Three comments. Air207 said, Jerry's going to do Jerry things and scoop up Waddle if he's there. Like last year, That would that be just the craziest thing in the world? The one thing you absolutely 1,000% don't need is another wide receiver. But anyways, uh, was no need for the CD pick, but Jerry likes glittery things. That is very true. Um, I don't agree with that he would do that. Maybe he is that crazy. Um, you know who he could do is take Kyle Pitts. That would be the flashy pick. Anyways, announcer Mark98 says they should draft Patrick Sertan the second. Isaac uh, Cord says Sertan, nothing else to do. So, again, clearly this is the by far favorite scenario for the Dallas Cowboys. And, again, I don't disagree. I like your offense. I think you get a better offensive-minded head coach, offensive coordinator in there that knows how to utilize the talents that you guys have. you got to bring back that quarterback. I think he was just really starting to become a premier quarterback in the NFL before he got hurt. And, um, you know, we, we continue to fix this defense. you got a good pass rusher. Now we get two lockdown corners. It's lights out, folks. With the 11th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Giants select Jalen Waddell, wide receiver, Alabama. Um, so 45% the Giants select. And, and I get it. I was actually a little surprised because the comments were all about Kyle Pitts, right? we got to get Kyle Pitts. we got to get Kyle Pitts. I think in my last mock, Devontae Smith was still available. So I had him taking Devontae Smith because, I mean, as much as I love Kyle Pitts, I mean, if Devontae's there, you probably take Devontae. But... Um, I was surprised to see Jalen Waddle went over Kyle Pitts. He wasn't even in second place. Jalen Waddle had 45% of the votes. 211 Giants fans, by the way. Thank you guys for for paying attention and, and hanging in there. 25% um, wanted Micah Parsons, the linebacker. I don't disagree with that because now the value is getting to be kind of incredible. I think he's the third highest graded guy on my board right now. Um, He's all the way at 11, and it's about to get a lot worse. Spoiler alert. 16% said Kyle Pitts. 9% wanted Edge. 6% said we should take Caleb uh, Fairley, Farley, the cornerback. Um, as far as the comments, lots of comments. Andy Augustel, uh, Augustel says, Waddle reminds me a lot of old number 13. So there you go. That would be his rationale. Oh, my goodness. Robert Maseracchio says, depending on what they did or didn't do in free agency, we'll decide the 11th pick. I, listen. I understand that, but you know, it goes without saying, man. It's just a mock draft. It's just for fun. We, obviously, things are going to change. We don't need that caveat. Um, but he says, I, I'd rule out would-be Waddle. Too small and injured. My guess, Giants go edge pay. Maybe Ojalari from Georgia. I could see them trade back for additional picks. So he wasn't on any of this stuff. Uh, Waddle, but how do we know the ankle going to be ready? And if we draft Pitts, Ingram got to go. That's from Jaden Fitch. Um, Quitty Pay from Milky Goad and Lion Suck, who is just all over the comments. I respect you, man, especially as a Packer fan, says Kyle Trask. And uh, Maseracchio says maybe round six when they have two picks. So um, I, I, I've been on record saying I like your quarterback. I do. I know he's got fumble issues, but uh, similar to 
um, <clears throat> Josh Allen in his third year, they went out and did what? They got him a premier wide receiver, and all of a sudden they're talking MVP, which I don't think he is an MVP, but he's clearly one of the best quarterbacks in football. So I, I want to stick with this guy. I want to actually get him a weapon, which is why I, to some degree, agree with Jalen Waddell. Personally, I go for Kyle Pitts, but um, I, I like that general thing. Wide receiver, tight end, get the man a weapon. We got a great running back. We built up this offensive line. The defense is actually performing better than I expected. I... I, I the Giants, depending on some of the moves they make, are one of my teams to keep an eye on. Um, obviously, Dallas is another. The, the NFC East, I guess, in general, minus the Eagles, are a team to keep an eye on. Man, Eagles. I'm sorry, Eagles. I'm trying not to. I, I want you to like me, but I just can't stop. I'm sorry. I just. I'm sorry. <laughs> With the 12th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the San Francisco 49ers select... Caleb Farley, or Celeb Farley, cornerback, Virginia Tech. I'm sorry if that's his name. It's spelled Caleb, dude. I want to call him Caleb. Uh, look, I, I, I just, I think, I mean, 49, you guys are the ones that told me about this. I was making all kinds of picks. I, I had corners sometimes and sometimes not. And you guys are like, dude, we have no corners. We have to draft a corner. So, obviously, the fan base is pretty locked in on that. 54% of the 243 49ers fans wanted Caleb Farley. 21% said Kyle Trask, which really surprised me, but there is a comment about that. We'll get to that. 9% said Micah Parsons. 8% wanted Wyatt Davis. 7% said Other, which I hate to see Other that high. It means I'm probably not doing a good job of looking at everything that's needed. But there were a couple comments. Trevor says, Kyle Pitts, if available, imagine him paired with Kittle. Um... Usually you would think you don't need Kyle Pitts because you have Kittle, but I mean, I guess if you think about it, what in the world, assuming you you can use two tight ends uh, effectively, in other words, you would probably want to have two tight ends, tight ends on the field all the time because you don't want either of these guys benched very much. But I mean, if you can create packages for that, which I'm assuming Shanahan could, you guys are a running team, so two tight ends would be fantastic. I hadn't considered it, but I mean, it, it's one of those things where you think about it, and it's like, that's stupid. And then when you really, really think about it, it's like, oh, no. What are we going to do? <laughs> we can stop that. So I'm probably not going to do that in my mocks, but I can respect it. Bill says, I don't know and I don't really care, which I, you know, I'm sorry you'd had nothing else to do on this blessed day. But uh, thanks for stopping by, Bill. I really appreciate that. And I hope you had a great rest of your miserable day. With the 13th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the L.A. Chargers select Samuel Cosme, offensive tackle, Texas. So this, again, I, I think you guys are in a good spot to be able to get a tackle, and, and Derisaw should actually be there, but of course he's gone. So, um, I mean, it, it's pretty locked in. We had 224 votes on this one for the Chargers. Thank you guys for, for swinging by. The California and New York, as much as Cali uh, gets a lot of hate for not really being loyal to their fans, there's a lot of you out there. So 63% wanted Samuel Cosme to uh, be the pick. That's obviously very massive. 14% said Wyatt Davis, the offensive guard. So we're talking 77%. I don't know. I shouldn't try to do math on the fly. 14% uh, said take the top cornerback available. 5% said edge. 3% said other. As far as the comments go, look at Herbert Man says Derisaw question mark, which... You know, it's, it's hard to keep track. I think half of these guys didn't even know what we were doing. But you understand the question because it's like, why wouldn't you take Derisaw? Because you don't assume he's going to be gone, but he is. Um, and Luis Rodriguez says, Jalen Waddle, if he's there, or any of the top three receivers. If not, best tackle available. Uh, kind of runs in line with Spencer Berry. Said, if Jalen Waddle or any of the players of that caliber falls, uh, best offensive lineman available at anything near value. They should honestly draft three, four linemen this year. So... I'm kind of surprised. That was one of the things I hadn't really picked up on. Apparently, wide receiver is a, a big want for the fan base, and I guess I can understand that. Uh, you've got a really good one, but he's kind of getting up in age, and outside of that, meh. So, Lil Fish says Kyle Pitts might be there, and then Patrol Master says Florida tight end Kyle Pitts. Again, a lot of people aren't really... All you see is a poll pop up, so you're not really thinking about the fact that I'm doing a live mock draft and these guys might be gone. Kyle Pitts was gone, but again, I'm going to keep that in mind going forward because there was one mock draft for the Chargers where there just weren't any good offensive linemen available. I didn't really know what to do, so obviously, getting a weapon for the offense and for your for your quarterback, who by the way, very talented, and I've got some videos coming out very soon of the top rookies of 2020. And I, I just finished my quarterback video, and he obviously is highlighted in there. So be sure to check out uh, that video. It should be coming today or tomorrow. I'll post it. So 
get ready for that. But otherwise, that's 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 the video. That's it. That's we're done with this one now. With the 14th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Minnesota Vikings select Wyatt Davis, offensive guard, Ohio State. This is another one I was kind of interested to see what the fans would do because nobody likes taking interior offensive linemen, and I've had mixed reviews. A lot of a lot of Vikings fans love that pick, and other ones are like, "That's stupid. We can get a guard in the seventh round. Why do we need a first round? Whatever." 47% of the 208 votes came in for Wyatt Davis, so roughly half. 16% uh, said we wanted Edge, which is another pick that I've made in previous uh, videos. I think that would be a great compliment and, and, again, get that defense back on track. 13% for Kyle Trask, which kind of surprised me. 13% for Micah Parsons, who should have been long gone, but again, fan mocks. 11% for Kyle Pitts, which I could also understand. The reason I've never done Kyle Pitts is because you guys do have a relatively young, moderately talented tight end, and I feel like you would take that as an affront towards your tight ends. Um, but I'm, I'm starting to realize Vikings fans are kind of like Bears fans in that, depending on who we're talking about, they're not very um, covetous of their guys. Maybe that's the wrong word. Some, some fan bases, if you talk about any of their guys, they're going to lose it. Other fan bases are like, yeah, you're right. He's a bum, and I hate him, and I hope he gets off this team, and we should replace him. And it's like, well, he's kind of good. I don't know. I don't have to be so crazy about it. Um, but anyways, Wyatt Davis makes sense, right? I think the offensive line is making strides. We're going to continue to make some strides. Ryan Steffen says, glad there's 50% of people who saw how bad the interior of the offensive line was. Uh, Race Nija says, Quiddy Pay. CW Nunn says, Marvin Wilson. Marvin Wilson ain't going in the first round, big dog. He was a big name early on. Um, he had a terrible year in 2020. Now the rumor that I'm hearing is that maybe third round is where he's going to go. So that ain't going to happen. Michael Dexter says Quiddy Pay. I love the Quiddy Pay pick. I think Quiddy Pay or uh, Wyatt Davis would be phenomenal picks for the Vikings. And I think they probably have a chance at either of them. Well, Quiddy might be gone, actually, but Wyatt Davis should be there. Um, but if Quiddy is there, I think that would be a fantastic pick. So this is another one that's we'll, we'll we'll mark it in pencil because I think one of those two picks would make sense. But again, I'm glad to see the diversity here. And 13% and for Kyle Trask is worth at least exploring. I, I'm of the opinion, I, and again, Vikings fans, I'm trying to give you a compliment and be like, dude, I like your quarterback. And Vikings fans are like, nope, he's garbage. We need a new one. All right. I, I'm not going to argue too hard with you. I mean, you know, we've got the Packers stuff here. I... If we want to say he's trash, I'll say it. I just, I don't like playing him. I think he does a good job. But, yeah, forget that guy, right? With the 15th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New England Patriots select Kyle Pitts, tight end, Florida. So, I've actually, I'm not, you know, guys are falling because it's a fan mock, but I've actually had this happen in my mock, too, where it's just, it's hard to find that right pick for Kyle Pitts. Not that he can't go places, but there's just somebody else you'd rather have and he falls right into the Patriots' lap. Uh, not surprisingly, that happened here. And Patriots fans were all over it. 67% of the 221 people that voted said they wanted Kyle Pitts. Again, kind of a no-brainer. 11% did say Micah Parsons because, again, he should be long gone. 10% um, said wide receiver, either Bateman or Moore. Those are kind of the, the top two that I have right now. 5% wanted edge. 7% said other. Um, again, this one's as locked in as it gets if Kyle Pitts does get that far. I'm skeptical that he does. I think he's a better tight end than we've seen come out, even you know when you compare guys to like TJ Hawkinson, and he went in the top 10. Um, I think Kyle Pitts is better. So I just have a hard time believing he's going to get out of the top 10. But again, it's not easy to always say, well, he's definitely going to go to this team, because it's like, well, no, they're going to take somebody else. Um, Spencer Berry says none of the top three choices should be there, so whoever falls. And he's talking about... Mm, I don't know, Micah Parsons and Kyle Pitts. Clearly, and I agree, I don't think they should be. I don't know who the third pick would be because they're just options. But um, anyways, I agree they shouldn't be there. They happen to be there. And again, if this happens, it's kind of a no-brainer. The one caveat here would be Micah Parsons, right? I mean, do the Patriots, and again, I, well, we don't need a linebacker. Again, it's not about need at this point, right? If, if, you, if you can use him and make your team a lot better, and we're talking about the third best player in the draft, is anyone going to freak out and say, why did they take Micah Parsons? I don't think so. I, I just, I've, at this point in the draft, any team would take Micah Parsons is, is what I guess what I'm saying. With the 16th pick in the 2021 NFL draft, the Arizona Cardinals select J.C. Horn, cornerback, South Carolina. So this one's similar to the 49ers where you just need somebody real bad. It's, it's not just a talent thing. It's a bodies thing, a lot of free agents and all that kind of stuff. So, 
Um, again, I was curious to see how badly Cardinals fans want a corner and how much they agree. 63%, only 64 votes, but 63%, which is obviously a massive margin, said we should take uh, J.C. Horn, cornerback out of South Carolina. Uh, 20% actually wanted a running back, which would be interesting. Uh, 11% said edge rusher. 3% said Micah Parsons, which again, and I know you just drafted a linebacker, but I'm just saying this this is this is the fan thing where it's like, dude, that's stupid. Why would we take a linebacker? Because you're looking at LB and I'm looking at Micah Parsons. That's the difference. I'm not looking at LB. I'm looking at Micah Parsons. The guy's a freak. Um, as far as the comment section, Turtho Chakrobordi says they should take a lineman. Uh, I don't necessarily disagree with that. Uh, Lions suck chimes in, says offensive line or wide receiver. Fitzgerald probably retiring. So other options, again, I think cornerback is such a massive need because there's a question of who are we even going to put on the field next year. So if there's a cornerback available, that's the direction we're going to go. But, yes, there are absolutely other needs. Lineman is very important. Wide receiver is definitely a consideration. You guys have taken a ton of wide receivers recently, but you also spread the ball out a ton, you know, five wide wide, wide receivers type stuff. Um so you need a lot of guys. So I don't know if I would put wide receiver at the top of the list, but it's certainly something to keep an eye on, especially in the later rounds, getting just more bodies to be able to fill all those spots. With the 17th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Las Vegas Raiders select Gregory Rousseau, edge rusher, Miami. Um, I mean, edge is kind of big. The way I phrased this here was edge rusher, and then I said either Comet Pay or Rousseau, because those are the top two guys. Rousseau I have higher on my board, but I think a lot of people would like Quiddy Pay. Didn't really get a lot of comments on that, so I just put the top guy on the board, which is Rousseau. But 53% of the 76 that voted wanted uh, edge rusher. 25% said Micah Parsons, which kind of shocked me. I even put in there, yes, he's still available, and still I can't get more than 25% to take him. 12% would have liked Kyle Trask. I don't even know why I put him as an option. I apologize for that because he is gone. Um... 5% said we should take offensive tackle Rashawn Slater. 5% said other. Um, Scooter McGruder. Oh, I'm sorry. Scooter McTutor. Very mature of you, sir. Says, I say Rousseau, but that's my opinion. Thank you, because that's what I was looking for was your opinion. Carlos NG says Barmore. Jake Cusera says pay. YouTube channel is the name of his YouTube channel. Says any defensive player. So we satisfied two of those comments by getting Rousseau and any defensive player. So Gregory Rousseau. To the Raiders at 17. With the 18th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Micah Parsons, linebacker, Penn State. So I kind of saved you guys from yourselves because this is the second time that actually ended up losing. Micah Parsons was in the lead marginally. I needed to move on. And so I uh, I just made the call. 88 total votes. We're going to can't stop it right here. I'm taking Micah Parsons. As of right now, 38% said they wanted a running back. Man, I just, I, I can't get on board with you here. Um, Micah Parsons has to go. I, I understand the general thought is we're going to get an offensive lineman and then we'll come back and we'll get another weapon, right? Um, and so I kind of get it, but only 17% wanted wide receiver. 9% said we should get Quiddy Pay. 2% said other. It's got to be Micah Parsons. So I, I, at the end of the day, you guys actually selected a running back, but I saved you from yourselves. I got Micah Parsons for you. Nick Fargo says, if Parsons is here, that's a steal and a half. Absolutely true. Lucas uh, Manavar says Najee. Patrick Brady says Harris. Lions suck says Parsons top 10, 12 pick. Uh, yes. And then the two comments, he could probably go anywhere from four to nine. And then he says true. So that was a little conversation for you. Again, there, there's there's kind of just two kinds of fans right there's the ones that look at value and then there's the ones that just don't care right they, they, they like kind of like the comment section about um the uh dallas cowboys gm i'm blanking on his name but the owner i should say how they like flashy things fans like flashy things and Najee harris is a flashy thing travis Etienne is a flashy thing micah parsons linebacker is not flashy again you all picked running back but i saved you from yourselves micah parsons is going to the dolphins with the 19th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Washington football team selects 
Kyle Trask, quarterback, Florida. So this one's kind of fun. Not only am I curious about it, but there's a lot of comments and there's a lot of votes, which means there's a lot of pretty heated opinions on this. 38% of the 236 votes said they wanted Kyle Trask, quarterback. 22% wanted an offensive tackle. 21% said Micah Parsons, if available. He was only there because I moved several ahead. I didn't know if he was going to go or not. 14% said wide receiver. 5% said other. In the comment section, We've got uh, Ken Fields. We get an elite middle linebacker, then our defense will be top five for years. I agree, but he was gone, so you're good. Um, Sebastian wanted to trade back. Tobin says Trask is terrible pick. I'd go best linebacker available or offensive tackle. So that's the other factor is what do you think of Trask, not necessarily just do we need a quarterback. Lions suck jumping in says Trask is going to be good in this league. A lot of people just putting it out there, man. It'll be interesting to see how good he does because obviously somebody's going to take him. I think he'll be the second best quarterback in this draft when starting in the NFL. Lawrence is the only one I think will be better than him in the NFL. So obviously very different opinions. Nick Venanda says Mac Jones. If he's still there, he is not. Luis Valda says Micah Parsons. Sorry, he was gone. Ed Oliver, who is the guy that uh, I was recommending you go check out for the uh, Washington football team. He jumped in, says, got to take Parsons if available. Absolutely true. He was not. Justin Williams, I think we trade up. Servish Shavashavish says, dude, if, okay, Parsons, don't care. He was gone. Um, Trask is immobile, says Ying Prodigy 17. You need to be mobile in the NFL now if you want to succeed more. They should grab linebacker like JOK or Collins because Parsons won't be there. And that's, um, that's definitely a common theme as well as far as linebacker, something that I've kind of been missing out on. Either quarterback or offensive tackle has been my primary focus, but um, that is something to consider. Um, also, as far as the immobility thing, I think the NFL is definitely moving in that direction. You can still get it done without being hyper mobile. I mean, obviously Tom Brady's doing something. Trask isn't Brady, but I'm just, just giving you an example. You don't have to be, but it definitely does help. And it's why more mobile quarterbacks tend to go earlier. It's why um, guys like what's his name out of NDSU are long gone. And Kyle Trask is still sitting there because the dude out of NDSU can freaking fly. Um, Cole Sports says, honestly, I think Slater Darisaw Cosme will be available then draft one of them. If not, J.O. cares Zavin Collins. Trask scares me because of his immobility. So there you go. So there is a lot of concern about that. I would be curious if I just said wide receiver or quarterback, what would happen? I want to be specific so that people know what they're getting into when they make the pick. But I am just curious. If I just said quarterback, what would we get out of that? But anyways, the vast majority, 38%, the next highest being 22%, said they wanted Kyle Trask. So that's what it is. With the 20th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Chicago Bears select Rashawn Slater, offensive tackle, Northwestern. Um, the Bears fans seem to be kind of on a similar wavelength as me. I try to be polite, especially toward NFC North opponents, because I don't want to come off as being super. I mean, I do that when I do Packers videos, but not draft videos. And the point is, there tend to be some agreement when I'm being negative toward the team, because the team, the fans, I think, are sort of <laughs> negative toward the team. Um, it's kind of tough. You know, what What exactly do we do with this team? Obviously, we were picking earlier and we had a shot at like Zach Wilson or something. It'd be a no brainer. But in this spot, we kind of just don't, especially with Kyle Trask just going. That's not even an option. The next best thing I could think is offensive tackle because the offensive line is getting really bad. I know wide receiver is definitely a consideration, but it just seems like if you don't have a quarterback in an offensive line, what is that wide receiver going to do? Right? So. I'm thinking sort of foundationally. Let's build up the offensive line and kind of just carry on from there. Um, 40% said offensive tackle, 29% said wide receiver. So, again, kind of in that similar thought process there. 12% uh, said Trey Smith, interior offensive lineman. 11% um, said Quiddy Pay, which would be kind of cool, right? Let, I mean, if we're going to be good at something, let's be really good at something. We obviously have the best edge rusher in football, arguably, in Khalil Mack. Let's get him a compliment. I, I wouldn't necessarily hate that entirely although you're still going to be a really bad football team you're just going to hurt somebody's quarterback I mean the best thing you can do is hurt Aaron Rodgers and then you can hang that on a mantle somewhere otherwise you're not going to win a lot of football games Lions suck says Trask or Jones they're not there so we'll move on Daryl Yeeter who is a member I appreciate you hanging in there man and, and subscribing if you want to join this channel by the way check out the join button uh, he says none hopefully they trade all their picks he is a Packer fan uh, Mikey Goat says Bateman since they're most likely to have to replace A-Rob 100% agree. I mean, you've got one of the better wide receivers. I don't think he's coming back. Trevor Lujan says, what if they go Mac Jones from Alabama? If only. Isaac Cord says they need a quarterback. So, again, 
everybody wants a quarterback. The problem is you're in a really sucky spot where you're just, you just you you weren't a bad enough football team. You were too good this year. Not good, but too good to actually get what you really, really need. We'll see what happens. Maybe you guys give away all your picks and move up like you have done the last several years. You got the same GM who makes that all or nothing kind of decision. So I don't know. We'll see. But uh, YouTube channel says wide receiver, Mar wide receiver Marshall or Bateman, unless Amon Ross St. Brown falls to them in the second. In that case, they should take Leatherwood. The problem with that, obviously, is we don't know if he's going to fall to us in the second. So we got to do what we're going to do, assuming he's not going to be there. But I do agree that would be kind of nice if we got in his example, Leatherwood, and then Awan Ra in the second round, which is why also you take into consideration things like offensive tackle because the amount of second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth round offensive tackles that are good in the wide receiver in the NFL compared to wide receivers that are good from second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth round, day and night difference, right? If you want a good offensive tackle, you, you are much better off going in the first round. So it's another reason why offensive tackle kind of takes priority for me. So um, Rashawn Slater to the Bears at whatever pick. With the 21st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Indianapolis Colts select Alex Leatherwood, offensive tackle, Alabama. Obviously, you had Costanzo retire recently. That's going to be a big blow. Um, you also have to consider some... Oh, there's a ladybug. Why is a ladybug in my basement in the middle of January? Anyways, um, I guess he's got to live somewhere. The... Um, you also have to consider quarterback. You have to consider wide receiver. As I've said several times, the Colts feel like a team that's kind of close, but some critical components are going to be leaving very soon, which which doesn't bode very well to continued success, unless you can find replacements for those positions soon. Um, I do th I do agree that Leatherwood is probably the best uh, pick here. 213 votes, 37% said Leatherwood, 23% said wide receiver, 23% said Quiddy Pay, 9% wanted Jeremiah Owosu Koromoa, JOK, as has been commented in the comment section, 8% said other. Uh, the only comments we had, Morgan Beckerman said Mac Attack, who is gone. Air207 says Blockbuster Trade. Obviously, we're not doing trades, but let's hear him out here. He says, Eagles send Carson Wentz and Zach Ertz to the Colts. Colts give the pick 21 and Pascal. What are your thoughts? Love the content as always. I really appreciate that. If you weren't so nice, I probably would have just glossed over this. But um, here's the reason I like it. Depending on what you think about Carson Wentz, the Eagles, there's a lot of talk about, well, we're going to try to fix Carson. Forget that, dude. You got a quarterback. Run with the guy that you got that's playing better than Carson. Let's, let's, let's move on. Plus, if you can get some kind of a haul like this, that would be obviously very beneficial. And again, the good thing about the Colts is you get the pick, you get um, so you've got an offensive tackle. Then, if, again, assuming you can get Carson Wentz going, you got the quarterback figured out. Then, with the pick that you get, um, well, no, you wouldn't get this pick because you just gave that away. Whatever, you get the quarterback figured out. We'll figure out the rest later. But the biggest thing going forward is who is our quarterback, right? That's that's the biggest problem. Same with the the Saints and some other teams. It's like, okay, we're we're relatively successful, but unless we get the quarterback figured out, we're done. So the Saints, as far as I'm concerned, are done. The Colts are done. You got to find quarterbacks that can play. Again, it depends what you think about Carson Wentz, but if you think you can fix him, do the trade. Do the trade. I don't even care about Ertz and Pascal and, and the value of 21. I don't know about the exact value, but if you can work it out where 21 plus this, that, or the other turns into Carson Wentz, who you believe you can make into a quality quarterback, do it. I don't know if I agree, but that's my general thought. And, and that's, I guess it's kind of a no-brainer. If you have the opportunity to get a young, talented quarterback that you believe is a young, talented quarterback, you go ahead and pull the trigger on that. So, um, yes, Air 207, I guess I would take that trade if I could. With the 22nd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tennessee Titans select Quiddy Pay, Edge Rusher, Michigan. This one is beyond a no-brainer. We've had several question marks, but Edge Rusher is the biggest need for the Tennessee Titans. We're going to see some other things that, that Titans fans want, but not surprisingly, 53% of the 211 votes from the Titans selected Quiddy Pay, Edge Rusher, out of Michigan. 19% wanted JOK. 15% wanted wide receiver, either Bateman or Moore. 10% said they would like to get Sean Wade, cornerback out of Ohio State. 3% said other. Comment sections, uh, Nick Vanando said Quiddy Pay most likely won't be available at 22. I tend to agree. Um... But he was, so there you go. Lions Suck says that secondary isn't bad. They can address that later. The secondary isn't bottom in the league. They need to be able to get after the quarterback. Edge first round, second round cornerback. Sounds good. Uh, they need Joseph Asai if Zaven Collins isn't on the board. I don't really know why. Um, I, okay, Jalen 930 says that. Patrol Master says Quiddy Pay will not be there at pick 20. I, dude, 
what do you want me to do? I'm just, I'm just going through it. Um, there you go. So I, I, I agree he won't be there, but he was there. So that is the pick. With the 23rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New York Jets select Joseph Asai, edge rusher, Texas. Um, so we've got, uh, what is it? This one was actually pretty close. 33% said they wanted Asai. 28% wanted a running back, either Harris or ETN. 20% wanted wide receiver, which I would have thought kind of would have won out. Maybe it depends which wide receivers are available. They weren't interested in the ones that were. 13% said Sean Wade. 7% said other comment section we got gavin says literally almost any position would make the team better i somewhat more or less agree wyatt davis is gone etn says tyler kabuilla mikey goat says harris daniel stewart says harris uh, lions suck wants edge shada young says a quarterback lions suck says do a saints poll we're getting there dude we're going through all the teams again nobody knew what i was doing but it still worked out that people kind of figured it out and uh, we ended up getting this done anyways but um yeah, that'll be an interesting one because I think there's going to be a lot of different positions available. Uh, similar to what the commenter said, uh, you could go pretty much any position. And then on top of that, um, I don't I don't remember what on top of that was. I, I'm, I'm, we're done. The Jets picked Joseph Asai. With the 24th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Pittsburgh Steelers select Najee Harris, running back, Alabama. Now, I'd love to say this one's kind of set in stone. I've, I've picked Najee Harris to the uh, Steelers my last probably two mocks now since I found out Steelers fans want him badly. The only question is, is he going to be available? I mean, according to the big boards, he'll definitely be available. Travis Etienne is still way higher on all the boards than, than Najee Harris is. So if a running back goes, Etienne would go first. Um, but man, there's a lot of hype about Najee Harris. I don't know if he's going to make it that far. But again, if he does... Regardless of what the team does, we know what the Steelers fans want, um, and I wouldn't be surprised if the team does it. No comments. I, again, I, I love picks like this. It's like No need for comments, dude. 60% of the 124 votes went for Najee Harris. 21% said they liked Jalen Mayfield, offensive tackle out of Michigan. 9% wanted Sean Wade. 7% Travis Etienne. 3% said we should take Rashad Bateman, wide receiver out of Minnesota. With the... 25th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Jacksonville Jaguars select Jalen Mayfield, offensive tackle, Michigan. Um, again, no comments, 61%, so it's kind of locked in stone. I, I guess I'm a little bit surprised there wasn't a little bit more love for wide receiver. I get it. I, I think offensive line probably is much more important, and, and I do like your wide receivers. I just wish we had a true number one. As I've said, I feel like you got like two or three real good number twos be nice if we had that really nice number one but uh jalen and mayfield 61 percent 18 percent for rashad bateman 10 percent for sean wade seven percent for pat fryermuth four percent said other but no comment so jaguars with the offensive tackle with the 26th pick in the 2021 nfl draft the cleveland browns select jeremiah owosu koromoa koromoa um, first and foremost, really sorry about that game yesterday. I thought you guys, first of all, I thought you guys looked really good. My first thought when I watched that game, because I haven't watched a lot of Cleveland Browns games, is this reminds me of 2019 Green Bay Packers. Very similar offensive system, by the way. Your your coach comes from the same kind of coaching tree and offensive system as our coach does. Um, the way you guys are scheming guys open is beautiful. I think, you know, obviously you just got to tighten it up a little bit, a little less mistakes and a little bit more discipline and everything else. But the scheme is there. The players are there. I think you guys are going to be a very, very good football team. It's obviously a really painful loss, uh, especially the way in which it happened. But um, – Really good football team, and obviously you guys are, are in lockstep on this. Jeremiah owosu Koromoa, 63% of the 117 votes said, yes, please give me a linebacker. 16% wanted Christian Barmore, defensive tackle out of Alabama. Sean Wade got 12%, 4% for Basham, 4% for other, but no comment. So, again, crushing loss, but you guys have come a long way, and you're going to be a good team for a long time, so congratulations on that. With the 27th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers select Carlos Basham, edge rusher, Wake Forest. Um, general consensus is defensive line, um, which seems counterintuitive because that is probably your biggest strength outside of Tom Brady playing out of his freaking mind the last several weeks, which is making me very nervous. 
being a Packer fan and whatnot. But regardless, defensive line is phenomenal. The problem is a lot of guys are leaving, right? And Dominican Sue probably not sticking around. I think Shaquille Barrett is a free agent. You may resign him. I don't know. But even so, you got the one pass rusher. You got a bunch of interior guys leaving. And then JPP on the other side is not all that fantastic. Um, I hate to step on your toes if you disagree, but I, I did a little tiny bit of research today. JPP absolutely destroyed the Packers the last time he played, but that was pretty much one of the few good games he had. Um, 8% of the time he gets to the quarterback, which is really quite bad to give you a, a contrast. One of the better pass rushers in football is Shaquille Barrett. I think he's at about 15%. 8% is just pure garbage. So even if everybody wasn't leaving, it'd be nice to get that compliment, but we also have to consider people leaving, and we got to kind of restoke that defensive line. So again, that kind of be, is the general consensus. 48% for Basham, 23% wanted Barmore, 21% said Travis Etienne, which would be kind of a cool little compliment there. 3% uh, wanted Bateman, 5% said other, but no comment. With the 28th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Baltimore Ravens select Rashad Bateman, wide receiver, Minnesota. So I'm, I'm kind of glad about this because I've been saying wide receiver for the Ravens for a long time, and I don't know if it's just me or if you guys uh, agree or disagree. 318 votes. I think that might have been the biggest one. I haven't been paying super – oh, nope, it's not. The next one's even bigger. Lots of votes. 57% said wide receiver. 19%, just to show the disparity, said uh, Trey Smith, interior offensive lineman. 14% would have liked Javon Holland, safety out of Oregon. 6% said Pat Fryermuth. 5% said other. So, uh, again, I, I tend to agree. I said Bateman or more. Leave a comment for who you like. Um, but that's been my consensus, right? The 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 Baltimore Ravens are a really talented team, and, and you know I'm sorry for you guys as well, having gotten knocked out again. Phenomenal team. The defense is incredible, but the one thing that clearly needs to get better, and a lot of people want to put it on your quarterback. I don't know if I necessarily agree or not, but um, it's the passing game. And obviously, you run very well, and your quarterback runs very well. Your offensive line is very good at run blocking and all that, but. When the chips are down and you got to come back and really just start passing through the air, that's the one time where I think teams really want to get you in that position. You want to be in a position where the last thing in the world they want is for, for Lamar to drop back and start passing. And I think that starts with really finding a premier wide receiver. Um, I'm not going to come down on Lamar until we get him that wide receiver that he needs and he still can't perform, then I'm going to be concerned. But until then, and he doesn't have one right now, I'm, uh, I'm we, we need to find that guy. So in terms of the comment section, Chris Bird says Landon Dickerson, center from Alabama. Land Landon Dickerson. Uh, nope, that's not uh, that's not an option. Brian Smith says Lamar needs a weapon. 100% agree. Gaming Fanatic says Bateman. Ronald Murray says Asante Samuel. Lee Troop says Bateman. Caleb Beard says Bateman for sure. V's Jace says Bateman for sure. So I did pick Bateman. Again, I wanted you to jump in the comment section and let me know. But my also my my thought on that is. Bateman is sort of the big body guy. You've already got Hollywood Brown, who's the speedy, shifty guy. Let's get a big old compliment on the other side. So I, I love that pick. If, if Bateman's there, otherwise you're looking at a guy like Terrace Marshall or something like that. Um, I just think that is the number one thing we got to do for the Baltimore Ravens. And it's one of those things that if they hit on that, I don't know how you stop them, man. And there's several teams that can be that way, but that's that's one of the scarier things is if the Ravens end up getting a truly elite number one wide receiver like a Justin Jefferson, we're all in trouble. With the 29th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the New Orleans Saints select Zaven Collins, linebacker, Tulsa. It's such a weird pick because it's, I mean, it's perfect. It's the absolute right pick to make, in my opinion. Again, Saints fans kind of directed me at that, and it makes a lot of sense to me as well. You've got one of my favorite linebackers in the NFL, but he's probably going to be leaving. He's like 35 years old or something crazy. But um, the, the reason it seems weird is because it feels like we need to do something drastic, right? We're, we're right there, and, and we might be losing our quarterback, and it's like, we can't just let this fall apart. we got to do something crazy here, but we can't, right? We can't do something crazy. We can't draft a top-tier quarterback. All the quarterbacks are gone. we got to do the next best thing, and Zayvon Collins is a fantastic football player. It's a big need for our team. It's going to keep that defense really stoked up and have a really quality defense. We'll see what we can do at quarterback if we have one on our roster or if we need to go out and get one, but... Um, as much as it feels like we got to do something crazy, there's nothing really crazy to do. 48% said Zayvon Collins, 18% wanted Rondale Moore, 14 for Christian Barmore, 12% for Sean Wade. Uh, we did have three comments. 362 votes, by the way. Um, 
there were more for the Packers, and then the most was for the Chiefs. So obviously these later ones got the most amount of votes, but I appreciate all the Saints fans jumping in. Tons of votes. Uh, Jaleel Dean says, Collins, the way Sean Wade played this year, he shouldn't even be in consideration for the Saints. Something to consider is he's a much better slot corner, so if you need that, it should be a consideration. If you don't, you should not consider him. Um, Collins would be a fantastic addition, says Jeremy Trottier. So he's my first choice. If he's off the board, Rondale would be lethal addition to the already strong offense. So he's my second choice. It's, it's kind of an interesting thing, too. Maybe I'm talking a foreign language. Maybe Saints fans just aren't worried. I don't know. Um, Trask is what Jackson says, and Trask is gone. So I guess comment section, let me know, Saints fans, how you're feeling. Um, I would be in a state of despair, but maybe you guys are feeling good. Maybe Breeze is coming back. I don't know. Who knows? But there you go. With the, where are we at? 30th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Buffalo Bills select Dylan Moses, linebacker, Alabama. I'm, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm stunned with this. I've gotten into so many fights with Bills fans. Um, it's been a long time. I, it, it's probably been months since I drafted a linebacker for the Bills because I got such a th thorough thrashing for daring to question the validity of the linebackers in, in Buffalo. And then to have Buffalo Bills fans come out and be like, yeah, we should probably take a linebacker, especially one that hasn't been mocked in the first round in a long time. Kind of a reach, but 34%. I mean, it was close, but 34% said Dylan Moses, 21% for Trey Smith, offensive guard, 20% for Sean Wade, 17% for Patrick Jones, 9% for other. Again, it's not necessarily that I disagree um, with the linebacker in particular. Dylan Moses, I don't know if he goes in the first round anymore, but um, I'm just stunned. I mean, Bills fans are pretty proud of their linebackers and, and what they're able to do. So it'll be interesting to hear in the comments section what you guys think. As far as these particular comments, Patrick Jones is such a beast, says Lee Troop. Uh, Lee86 says if Stokes is gone, Asante Samuel or Tyson Campbell. Caleb Beard says they should grab a corner or defensive tackle. Stephen Collins says Zaven Collins Tulsa, who is gone. Jeremy Cole says Eric Stokes. And then Irishel Shish says cornerback or offensive line. So we didn't really get a lot of clarity. Nobody in the comment section liked Dylan Moses. But obviously, again, a third of the people did. So if you believe, if you're, a, let me put it this way, if you're a Bills fan that wants Dylan Moses, explain why. And you can get into fights with your own fan base and not me. With the 31st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Green Bay Packers select... Terrace Marshall, wide receiver, LSU. That wasn't for effect. I'm just an idiot. 42% said Terrace Marshall. Not surprising, Packer. And th this is kind of a weird thing. And there's a big split among Packer fans. If, if you know, if I give you a little bit of an insight into that, in terms of the wide receiver position, some fans are still mad. They're still mad at Jordan Love and the, and the running back pick, and they still want a wide receiver, despite the fact the Packers have the number one offense in football and don't seem to need it. However. The Packers have been very invested in, in going out and getting certain positions. Defensive tackle is one of them. Very, you know, they went out and got snacks, but they've been making phone calls about a lot of guys trying to get better defensive tackles. But also, there was the uh, big push, really big push for uh, Kyle, F ah, what is his name? For Fuller, Fuller, not Kyle, the other Fuller, the Texans wide receiver. I think the Packers really want that guy, and it might be a specific kind of wide receiver. They're looking for maybe an MVS replacement. No offense, MVS. But, um, you know, that speed guy on the outside that's a really talented wide receiver, I think they're looking for it. I think they would have taken – in fact, they've said that they would take a wide receiver in the draft. Um, it just didn't really fall that way. But 42% uh, for Terrace Marshall, 25% for Rondale Moore, so obviously a massive percentage for wide receiver. Christian Barmore, 17%. Pat Fryermuth, 9%. Sean Wade, 8%. As far as the comment section goes, we got Lee Troop says, if Moore wouldn't have opted out, he wouldn't even be an option because Moore would have made it to 31. I don't know. I can't process what that means. Daniel says, why would they trade up from 32 to 31? I like it. I like that a lot. Well done. By the way, um, I have, I've been forgetting to shout out some of these channels, but obviously I, I have a Packers channel. You're here. Subscribe if you want more Packers content. But uh, uh, Basara Ski Productions, who does a lot of the hype videos and stuff, does a really good job. Big Packers channel. Be sure to check him out. But Terrace Marshall, wide receiver, LSU. Finally, your Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs with the 32nd overall pick select. Nick Bolton, linebacker. Missouri and the Chiefs are always super hard to pick for I've seen in the comments section generally I can take a wide receiver and I don't get really trashed for it but um, 
Chiefs fans are very, I, I mean, you're proud, and that makes sense, right? You got a good football team, so it, it stings when people say, ah, oh, this position kind of sucks, let's let's improve that. Nobody wants to hear that, you know? So, um, do I have burn on my monitor? That sucks. Um, what are we talking about? So, it's nice to have Chiefs fans come out, and you guys can fight amongst yourselves, but again, 34% for Nick Bolton, linebacker out of Missouri. I don't necessarily disagree, but, you know, again... 20% for Trey Smith, offensive guard. I don't think I did this. 18% for Sean Wade, 14% for Barmore, and 14% for Ron Dale Moore. In terms of the comments section, that's for the Packers. Let's move on to this one. Sam Nonenberg says it depends on who's there. I know, dude. I get that. Irishishul takes says take a linebacker. They usually suck in the first round. I don't know. You must not be a Chiefs fan, I guess. I don't know. Patrol Master says Nick Bolton, inside linebacker, Missouri, 6'232", is gone by pick 32. Three not helpful comments thank you all very much <laughs> i really thought he was given like the the dimensions like i thought he was going to give like 40 time and he's like this guy will not be there um 401 votes we cracked the 400 mark i'm, I'm excited i i might just depending on on the numbers for this mock draft i might just do this again i had way more fun doing this than when i do the picks um I'll do one with my own picks in the future, but this one is just, I love this. I love getting involved. I love people voting on stuff. I think I lost some subscribers because I guess they got annoyed with me constantly posting stuff, but I don't know, man. If nobody watches this, then I guess I won't, but I really, 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 really like doing this. I think this is a lot of fun getting the input from the fans. Again, make sure you subscribe. I think I, I think starting today, I'm going to do it again. So um, I'm going to wait until we get some more subscribers and whatnot, and for people to watch this, maybe I'll wait until tomorrow, but... We're doing another fan mock. That's what we're going to do because I just love this. So, anyways, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I don't know what else to say. Just uh, thanks a lot for stopping by. See ya.